don't pick that life, that life picks you. Welcome to Sit Down News, and before I begin, I'd like to mention our sponsor. Ratchet is a clothing company from the UK, started by a young man with a vision, a dream, and determination. They have various prints and styles for men, women, and children. I'll include a link to their website down below in the description for this video. All right, we have questions and answers today. Let's get started. Did you ever know anyone who turned down the chance to be straightened out? If so, what were the reasons? So straightened out obviously means inducted into a family. I did know one person who was going to turn it down, and that was Anthony Guzzo. A couple of days before we had our ceremony, little Joey DiBenedetto and myself had to go talk to Anthony and kind of talk him off the ledge. He didn't want to get straightened out. Anthony's father was a member of the Colombo family years ago and he disappeared, he was never found. So that probably was one of the reasons and there were some other reasons as well. I know years ago guys were in the junk business, dealing with drugs, and a lot of them turned it down because there was the no drug policy. Although there was plenty of guys in the life in the drug business even though there was a rule not to deal drugs. How is it some associates can be part of a crew so long before finally getting straightened out so late in the life? One answer is the ceremony sometimes only happens twice a year, sometimes in the summer and then around December time. And you're usually replacing a member that has passed away. A lot of times there's certain people that they want to put in, they want to propose, and that associate that may have been around for five years, sometimes even 10 years, he gets pushed back. What did Perna bringing the sneakers to Bedanza mean to you? So as I mentioned, Perna and Bedanza met first before me. I never met Bedanza, he already met him. I handled sit downs a little more strategically by Perna bringing him a gift, the sneakers. It put confidence in Bedanza. You don't want that. You don't want to put confidence in a guy in that life because that could turn to cockiness. And it was a weak move. You never want to show weakness in a sit down. This person basically asked, if an associate witnesses the guy he's with get into a fight with another friend, meaning a mate guy, can the associate get involved under those circumstances? So the answer is absolutely not. Can an associate get involved and put his hands on another guy? It's going to turn out very badly for the associate and for the guy that he's with. So this next question I'm constantly asked about whether members can change families or not. Someone gave an example of the old Joe Gallo crew. So once again, I'll say it. When you're inducted into a family, you remain with that family. You do not go to another family. You can't be moved, traded, or anything like that. An associate can. A lot of the people that they're talking about that was with the Joe Gallo crew were associates. And then they went on to who went with the West Side, the Genovese family, and they became inducted in that family. People are getting it very confused and thinking that they were a part of the Colombo family and they were traded to the Gambino family, the Genovese family. That's not happening. I could give you an example. Joe Cafe was an associate with the Gambino family. Guys used to say, oh, Joe Cafe is with the Gambinos. That didn't mean he was a friend or an inducted member of the Gambinos. Joe Cafe eventually was traded to the Lucchese. He became inducted with the Lucchese. So people could turn around and say, oh yeah, Joe Cafe used to be with the Gambinos and then he got moved to the Lucchese. True, but the wrong scenario. Joe Cafe was an associate with the Gambinos, now he's inducted into the Lucchese. Joe Cafe can't now turn around and go to the Colombos now. It, it doesn't happen that way. Talk about the pressures captains might apply to kick up. As I always say, it all depends on who you're dealing with, who your skipper is, what his personality is. In my case, Big John was my captain. John was always crying about guys not kicking up money or not kicking up enough money. I remember a couple of times he seen me take cash out to pay a tab. Right away he said, what's up Mo, would you do a score or something? The reason he's asking me that is he's trying to find out if I did something so I could kick in money to him. And of course I always told him no. When families want to induct someone, how do they go about checking to make sure they're Italian? Do they just go off the last name or is there an actual process and do you still need to be full-blooded? Well, first, they definitely don't use 23andMe to look your DNA up. Prior to us getting straightened out, I was on a beach in the island of St. John. I got a telephone call from Anthony Guzzo. Anthony Guzzo told me that he was up at the club in the Bronx. He said to me, they want to know your mother's maiden name. The reason why they're asking that is, they know my last name, Panisi, that's my father's name, right? So my father's Italian. They want to know my mother's last name, and that name goes on a list that they send around to all the families when they're looking to propose you. People ask about being full-blooded. That's always been a rule, but some rules are always broken now and then. 
Do families who work closely together ever employ each other with legitimate businesses? Absolutely, this happens all the time. As a matter of fact, as an example, one time I was meeting with Lorenzo Menino, with the Gambinos, Lorenzo turned around and told me, if you have any construction work, let us know, we'll get together, we'll make some money in the construction business. The mob knows how to network like any other businessman. There are friends that are involved in different businesses together and they are both part of different families. It happens a lot, whether it be in a restaurant business or some other type of business. Do other families besides the West Side, which is the Genovese family, have messages or a street boss? So every family has messages and there's always more than one of them. As far as the street boss, any family that has an acting boss, that is the street boss. But the West Side probably has a boss, a street boss, an acting street boss, and an acting acting street boss. They're a little different. Describe your relationship with Anthony Guzzo. So Anthony Guzzo and I were both away together, we were in prison together, we stayed in the street together, we fought side by side in the middle of 3rd Avenue and Bay Ridge together. I've been out plenty of nights drinking with Anthony, eating dinner with Anthony, I've eaten dinner at Anthony's house. But more importantly than all of that, Anthony and I were straightened out, we were inducted on the same day. I always looked at Anthony as and considered him a dear friend of mine until he showed me otherwise. I think people need to understand Anthony is not the only one that acts like that in that life. There's a ton of guys that act just like Anthony or worse. I just would like to say I appreciate all the questions that were posted. Continue to put your questions down in the comments and I'll do my best to get to all of them. Hope you enjoyed the story. If you would like to subscribe to this channel, you could do so down below. If you would like to subscribe to my other channel, Unlimited Substance Podcast, I'll add a link in the description for this video.